My letter is written now. I also wrote to Romney. How do you actually send it to him? Up here at the top, my address bar, you see it says search DuckDuckGo or type in a URL. DuckDuckGo is my search engine, as I explained in a previous video. Senator Mitt Romney, Utah. How about if we get the Utah in the front here? Say Utah Senator Mitt Romney. And I'm going to search to see what I can get on the internet. What I put him in here for is to get okay, Romney.Senate.gov. Okay, this sounds promising to be his website. I'm going to see what happens. Here's Mitt Romney, U.S. Senator for Utah. Home about Mitt. Contact. Contact Senator Mitt Romney. So I'm going to click on this. And what do we have here? Constituent information. You have a name, last name, address, city, right here. I wrote a letter to, letter to Senator Mitt Romney back in February. So I wrote this document, and then I and I copied all this. And then I pasted the text of the message in here. Now, in order for him to get it, you, of course, will have to fill out all this information about yourself. But this is how he got the message. I pasted it into here, and then I clicked on this send message. I asked, you answered. I followed the example that God set. Will you please read James 1.5? If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. I think that liberally means generously, and upbraid means criticize. So the whole verse means that if you ask God for wisdom, God will give it to you generously without criticizing you. I testify that James taught the truth, and that this truth is a key aspect of the gospel, the good news. There are other ways to contact your representative. I have shown you the way that I used. I have shown you enough for you to learn, line upon line, here little, there little. This has been Dutiful Citizen Channel, Episode 8, Romney Letter, How Sent. Will you please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Doing any of these things helps to grow the channel.